what is up YouTubers, Johnsy here, and welcome back to the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament Season 2. Last time, out of these six, Rob was the victor. Unfortunately, because he beat my freaking Kirby. F fuck you, Rob, you should have never entered. Hope you don't win the entire thing. Anyways, um, moving on, we are going to start up the 17th tournament, and also from here on out, we're already at the halfway point. So we only have 16 more spots available. So everybody better be on their toes. And remember, this is like not even half of everybody can enter. Even with the added me and Darksa, if he ever enters the tournaments again. So we'll see who enters this one. So the first one's going to be... Ooh. The Lord of Darkness himself. Ganondorf. I think Ganondorf might be on the side of, uh... Of Darksa, if anything. I don't even know if Dark Souls is going to be entering this tournament, but for the second spot of this little tournament, it's going to be Rosalina Loma. Uh, there is something you don't think someone will win against. Next up, we are going to have, placing the third spot, Kirby spot, is going to be... Oh. Oh. That's why. It's poisoned. Because, um... Our fighter for this tournament is going to be Darksa. So Darksa has entered the tournaments yet again. Two Lord of Darknesses has returned. Darksa wins. He enters the final tournament. He's determined to bring darkness within the entire world. So we'll see who else can beat him. Let's see. And, oh. Is this just giving the win to Darksa? Because we have Peach in here. I mean, I guess if Ganondorf can probably beat someone. Anyways, next up, we are going to have... Robin. Okay, that's actually someone who might be able to beat Darkza. We'll, we'll see, though. Next up, we are going to have... Little Mac. Because it passed... It went to Rosalina Luma again, and it passed Little Mac, so I'm going to give it to Little Mac. Next up is going to be Jigglypuff. Alrighty. And finally, the last person, hopefully to defeat Darkza, because it would not be good if he won again. Greninja. I thought it was on Pac-Man for a minute, but no, it was on Greninja. So, the P the players in order to beat Darkza and stop darkness from spreading all over the place is Ganondorf, uh, Rosalina and Loma, Peach, Robin, oh god, I made this so blurry, I gotta take another photo. Um, yeah, we also have Robin, Lil Mac, Jigglypuff, and Greninja. So with that, let's start off this next tournament, shall we? Let's see, who do I want to fight against? Actually, I kind of liked it where it was before, actually. So if we go back and then go back in, I think it should be fine just the way it is. I normally do uh, randomize everything, but this time I think the layout of where it is is actually pretty good. Uh, two Lords of Darknesses fight the Princess, and then Robin and... Uh, Little Mac, whatever, and then we have Pokemon Battle. So you know what? I think this is gonna be what it is. So let's get the seventeenth spot going on. So let's see who takes the seventeenth spot of the final tournament. So first up, we have Ganondorf facing off against Rosalina and Loma. Will Rosalina and Loma beat uh, Ganondorf? I highly doubt it, but we'll see if they're fast enough in order to beat Ganondorf. If not, we're all doomed. Okay, so. Jigglypuff, Peach, Ganondorf Moon right there. Sorry, I'm focusing on stuff. Uh, there's even a new more in this. Uh, Little Mac, Greninja. And we had Robin too, right? Yeah. <laughs> So 
that might be everyone from that tournament. Good. And who is winning so far? Oh, Ganondorf already lost a stock? Oh. Maybe this uh, tournament may... Maybe Rosalina Loma might actually make it in. Who knows? I mean, the thing is, both of these people have not made it into the final tournament before. So it is possible. Rosalina is actually doing some damage. She's not been doing really so well in these tournaments. But it's making a good combat right here and now. Oh, and there goes Gandorf having his final smash. This could, uh... If Rosalina can knock him out before he uses it. So there it is. Alright, he's still alive, but unfortunately uh, her final smash is not useful at all either. All you have to do is just make sure you avoid her and you're all good. And Gandorf's now down to his final stock. Gandorf is pretty much screwed on either side. Well, Crystal did that, and the star, and the final smash actually killed. Rosalina makes it in, defeats one of the Lords of Darknesses, and moves on to the next round. Rosalina is not playing games anymore. She is determined to enter the final tournament as well. So we'll see, we'll see. So congratulations. Now we have all the heroes going up against Darksa. Darkza is going up against Peach, and Peach, my god, you might want to win this one for the fate of the world. So, here we are, and, uh, I always keep forgetting the names of some places, but, uh, this is definitely, like, one of Wario's stages, and, uh, already, uh, both are pretty even. Ooh. That's pretty handy. Well, I guess it's kind of handy in a way. Not really the biggest upgrade. Because also, Darkseid also took advantage of that. But now they're both kind of back to where they started. It was like the first bit of the battle was like barely damaged at all. And I think Peach was dry the entire time. Unfortunately, did not get any help on that. Ooh, and using that sword technique. And Eevee being out on the field. Oh, and Dark Rye being summoned too. Oh, but Darkness is not going to prevail over Darkza. But Peach also has a uh, huge assist trophy coming around. Oh, and Darkza is the first to take a stock. Peach might actually win this too, which is surprisingly against the Lord of Darkness. The thing, she just goes around picking flowers all day. She's like, la 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 la. Well, still, she, uh, she's kind of back. There goes the assist trophy, and it's Ashley. Ooh, not good. Not good at all for Darkza. I don't know what Darkza's trying to do because there was a assist trophy down below. He could have grabbed it and helped him out. Jesus. He's just actually beating the Lord of Darkness. Surprisingly enough, she's being the Lord of Darkness. We're having a bit of surprises here today. And here comes Mimikyu. And this might be already... He might be killed by this. And, yep, already by 100. And now, with Peach grabbing all the assists... You see, the thing is with Darkza, he doesn't want any help. That's his greatest weakness, is that Peach is using the power of teamwork in order to stop... The Lord of Darkness, who has fallen yet again. And with that, Peach actually makes it to the next round. I'm surprised. The Lord of Darkness gets beat by the freaking pathetic, the most pathetic person in this entire tournament. 
So, congratulations, Peach. You've defeated the Lord of Darkness and have a chance for the 17th spot of the final tournament. Dark says, not as powerful as uh, we thought it seems like. You thought with my skills and making it in, he'd be cool as well, but nope. So we defeated the Lord of Darknesses, everything's all good in the world, now we're just going to continue on with our regular old tournaments. You're in a Hyrule Castle. Because we have someone who uses magic versus someone who uses their fist. Alright, little Max doing a pretty good job, unless he gets launched off stage, that's his greatest weakness. Little Max Recovery is probably one of the worst in the entire game. But he is pretty powerful as well. Little Mac grabbing that Pokeball. Mm, album. Robin stealing some health. If anything, this is looking pretty even between the two. And there goes to Dene and Spupa. Both are more effective when the enemy is near that Pokemon. So, really, both of them are kind of useless. Ooh. Robin better be careful with that KO. More health was drained from Little Mac. Ooh, it looks like that failed, and Little Mac takes the first stock, or loses his first stock. And, Ro and Robin calling Krom to help him out in his hour of need. And Little Mac also out using his final smash. Knocks out Robin. Yeah, they're both down to two stocks. Robin's determined to enter, because the thing is, Robin came close last time. He almost didn't make it into the final tournament. He took the last spot of the final tournament, so it was close for him. Thing is, didn't Little Mac make it in last time, too? I gotta check this out, actually. I can't remember if Little Mac made it in last season. Little Mac did, so both of these guys have made it in. But it looks like Robin's not given an inch. But looks like we have another Little Mac on stage, who is, uh... Not really doing much, but summoning another helper for Little Mac, and a lot on Robin's shoulders right now. Ooh. Dun -dun. Oh, I think Robin summoned Snorlax, but it wasn't enough. Robin's also getting close to that final smash again. Robin has that final smash. Oh, and Krom helps him yet again. The thing was, I think Krom was the one who fought Robin before trying to make it into the final tournament. Uh, unfortunately, failed. Robin did, or not Robin, uh, Krom failed last time, and they're both with one stock each. Having 50 seconds left on the clock, will we be? Will we go to time? I don't know. I mean, they're both still at low percentage. And Little Mac does have his final smash, getting close there. With almost 30 seconds left on the clock. 30 seconds. Little Mac having that final smash ready. Oh, and this might be it for Robin. And it is as Little Mac makes it into the next round. I'm sorry, Robin. But maybe you can clutch it out in another tournament because, hey, you've done it before. Maybe you'll do it again. But Little Mac, you have a chance to make it into the final tournament yet again. Alright, next up we have Jigglypuff and Greninja. Pokemon vs. Pokemon. And two Pokemon have not entered the final tournament before. So we'll see if any of them make it in this time. We we'll see here and now, Jigglypuff facing off against Greninja. Oh, Jigglypuff can be a, quite the trickster sometimes, but Greninja is very powerful, especially when he becomes Ash Greninja. I mean, come on, we've seen the anime at this point. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough for Mega Charizard, so... 
Why am I gonna Charizard tonight in this game? Well, it looks like Greninja. Oh, and 799 another Pokemon. Greninja not taking the much damage. Greninja taking a lot of damage. Jigglypuff has a good recovery. He doesn't. She doesn't. If anything, her Uppy is more of just a normal attacking special than an actual recovery move. Because she doesn't need it. And, and hey, she also got a assist trophy to help, and Greninja's now down to two stocks. If anything, on a small stage, Greninja better be careful, especially when uh, Jigglypuff gets her final smash. And also, Jigglypuff was just uh, teasing Greninja there for a little bit. And Jigglypuff now at two stocks as well. And Greninja also has that final smash. We'll be able to summon Ash Greninja to do some damage. I think Greninja might want to hold on to it, if anything. But lands it too. Will it kill or will it kill Jigglypuff? Yes it will, and Jigglypuff loses her final smash. Oh, she tried to use that rest ability, but it did not work. Oh, and Jigglypuff grabs Bomberman. Greninja might just kill himself at this point. Oh, and Greninja summons Rathalos. And Greninja's now down to one stock as well. Oh, if Jigglypuff lands it, but unfortunately, I think it only kills Rathalos, and it do oh, it doesn't, still doesn't kill Rathalos. And that's it for Jigglypuff. Greninja takes it home. I thought I thought Jigglypuff might have taken it, but nope. It was all Greninja that entire time. Congratulations, Greninja! You made it into the next round. I'm sorry, Jigglypuff. Maybe in another tournament. And with that, the first round is done. Going into the next round, we have Princess facing off against Princess right now. Princess Rosalina facing off against Princess Peach. Which princess will win? And both have been surprisingly good this entire tournament. If anything, I think Peach might win just because, well, her skills are a little more better than Rosalina's. No offense, Rosalina. But still, I mean, it is possible Rosalina might still pull this off. I mean, both of them did defeat Lords of Darkness today. So either way, they're both winners in our hearts today. That's their girl power talking. Everyone thinks males are always the best? Well, guess what? Females can also be pretty good. Well, not looking good for Rosalina. Oh, and Rosalina suicide. She thought she could avoid the riot chew, but nope. Peach is just grabbing all those items. Peach is showing her who is who is the first princess, who is the best princess of them all. She is showing that right now, because Rosalina's getting her ass handed to her. Princess Peach is not lying up for a second. Rosalina having that final smash ready. Then it is hers damages. Oh, good time to use it. Oh, but unfortunately Peach Hunt, or Peach dodged it. But Peach is now down to two stocks now. But unfortunately has a huge advantage still with having final smash ready to go. And she could just heal some of that back. Rosalina 
Rosalina also having her final smash ready. Rosalina better grab that peach. Oh, nope. Apparently not. Oh yeah, I think uh, Rosalina got Victini, so um, Victini gave her her final smash. Oh, someone summoned Moltres. I don't know who that was. If it was Peach, then Rosalina, it was nice knowing you. Oh, and Peach stuck within there, although Peach is still alive. Rosalina's not playing games no more. Rosalina's still trying. Oh, we had the fly sweater on for Peach. Now looking good for uh, Rosalina now. Grab the Pokeball. Grab an Oshawott. Being useless as ever. Oh, they're both fighting hard. Toga tomorrow now on stage. Oh, this might be it for Rosalina. No, not yet. Oh, maybe now. And with that, Peach 2 stocks Rosalina, showing that she is the better princess. And moves on into finals. Man, poor Rosalina. I feel bad for her. She rarely wins anything. She's like the lowest tier, really, all, like, all around. Poor Rosalina. Anyways, move on to more competition. We have a ninja facing off against a boxer. Little Mac going against Greninja. And one of these two will fight Princess Peach in the next round. So we'll see. Will, it, will we have our returning champion or our returning finalist make it in again? Or will Greninja pull off another impressive victory? They're both playing very dangerously. And, uh... Greninja lost the first stock. I already see Google Mac winning this. Sadly, I've been kind of wanting uh, Greninja. But unfortunately, this game always wants the opposite of what I want. Greninja is still alive after that KO. And Greninja's already down to his last stock. Definitely not looking good for him at the moment. Well, the thing is, Lil Mac doesn't have to worry about his one disadvantage here. Greninja summoning Shovel Knight into the mix. Can Greninja still pull off a victory here? There goes, oh, Electro. Only Shovel Knight being hurt. Oh, and both of them have their final smash ready. Okay, yep, it's game over for uh, Greninja right here. Not yet, but still. Well, actually, if Greninja can land this, his can kill. Oh, but no, he doesn't. And it is, this is going to be Lil Max, and Lil Max is going to 3 stock. Oh, never mind, he's not going to 3 stock. But Lil Max is going to win this. No questions about this. There's just no way. Scizor helping out. Fortunately, I don't think Scizor will be enough to help out Greninja. Having Mew help out, though. That crab did not help Greninja's case. Greninja's still playing a dangerous game going near that edge. He's going to try to get the two kills from the edge, but no, it was Lil Mac who did it. I see where Greninja was going for there. He was trying to get closer to the edge to hopefully knock out Lil Mac at a low percentage and then probably do that again. But unfortunately, Lil Mac was just too powerful. With that, he moves on to the next round. Sorry, Greninja. Maybe in another tournament. Alrighty, so now we have Lil Mac facing off against Princess Peach. Will we have another returning to the final tournament or will we have someone new? Will Princess Peach still show off some amazing skills and defeat Little Mac? Ooh, maybe because if anything, you definitely have to rely on your recoveries on this stage, and uh, Little Mac does not really have that. Peach grabs Isaac to help him out, 
already. Oh, and Lil Mac already loses the first stock. Definitely not looking good for uh, Lil Mac at the moment. Ooh, Peach Gavin, all the good assist trophies at this point. They're playing very dangerously down there. Oh, and Lil Max now down to his last stock. Peach is gonna take this and win? Question mark. Well, I mean, Peach is now down to two stocks. As well, Lil Max still down to one. Still can be anyone's game. They're playing very dangerously near the edge there. Lil Mac having that final smash. I don't know what Peach was thinking there. And Peach is now down to her last stock. And like that, it is Peach's game. Lil Mac's recoveries were the downfall of him all three times and with that peach peach actually makes it in to the final tournament surprisingly i'm sorry little mac that you got beat by a princess but hey but you know what if anything peach deserves this she was the one that defeated the lord of darkness and stopped darks's reign of terror at least for another tournament so congratulations to you peach you made it in to the final tournament congratulations this is your first time i was not expecting peach to actually make it in but she pulled off some strengths and made it in and with that we're gonna end this episode here so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys like this video press like button or subscribe whatever and i will see how you do this in the next video see you dudes next time